SpaceX attempts a launch. That's coming up in this Tomorrow Space News. I woke up yesterday morning way earlier than usual to watch the NSF crew while I watched and listened to the SpaceX feed. I had fallen asleep an hour after my teammates signed off covering the event with them. So, <laughs> no news this week, except that I am training to help with the news, so I will do my amateur learning curve best to bring you a few updates to tide you over. SpaceX chilled out their tanks in Boca Chica yesterday morning while many of the rocket enthusiast community gathered in the virtual stands to what would be a sellout, if not for the internet. What a time to be alive. The T-0 time was pushed back twice, first an hour to 0800, then 0820 central time. We watched the frost lines top and all proceeded nominally until minutes before launch they announced a really calm abort, switching to an all but static fire wet dress rehearsal. Several tank watchers, as soon as the tension broke, reportedly fell asleep. The new goal of a full wet dress without flame went apparently well, and we learned soon after by Twitter that the cause was a frozen valve. At the time of this recording, I see a tweet from SpaceX indicating Thursday morning. We wish them nominal readings and zero go fever. These are the people that fund this show, keeping Station 204 up and making these news and other shows possible. First are the ground support that give us about five a month, then suborbital that provide 10, orbital that supply 20, escape velocity members that provide more than the square root of two more than orbital, and our TMRO Model 33 Plaid Pro Plus member Neurostream that anchors us like a closed cycle farm on station. That's all this hour. I'll update as events and opportunity occur. Thanks from me and the team for letting us share our interest in space. <laughs>